Good morning dear friends, welcome back to Sanjeeva's watch collection. Today I'm going to discuss with you the chronography TO6317 Tissot Stainless Steel Classic Chrono Watch. So in my previous episode part 1 I discussed with you the history of chronography. Today I'm going to discuss with you the theoretical and mechanical part of chronography watch. So without further discussions in my right hand side you can see display watch and my left hand side you can see time with display watch that means chronography watch. In my previous episode, episode number 2, I discussed with you the same watch and with our minute, second and time, the same watch TO6317 display watch and I will keep this watch away, I will go through the chronography. Today our topic is chronography. In my left hand side, you can see one circle, small second is there. This is 30 minutes counter and right hand side one ten second hand counter and this one independent second hand counter and 60 second hand counter and minute hand and hour hand and date. This is my crown push button A push button B. So I bought this watch 2016 from Dubai duty free up to now there is no issues really I enjoy regularly I'm using it so for the without further discussion I will go through the theoretical and mechanical part of this watch so let me take it out this is chronography Tissot watch and my dear friends if you're using this chronography watch in my best suggestion is go through your manual first this is my manual related to this chronography watch so i go through it i read it from then from this book i got a lot of knowledge from that knowledge i'm going to discuss with you so actually production wise model wise and your requirement wise this chronography watches used to change so best thing you go through your manual follow it so if you read it you can get a lot of knowledge about your watch okay this is my watch and as my as I discussed with you my 30 minutes counter one second counter an independent second hand counter and 60 second hand counter our counter minute hand and my date and push button A push button B and crown so let me take this crown second position so from the second position if you move it anti-clockwise direction you can change the date very easily and I want to reset my chrono I've already reset it's in 12 o'clock position but I need to show you back how to reset it so when you press it two, so then you press push B so what will happen you check push a B now your 60 second counter is moving you can see your 60 second counter this is your 60 second counter it's moving so I need to make it up to 12 o'clock position. So I'm making up to 12 o'clock position. See, I've already made it up to 12 o'clock. Okay. Now I want to reset my one ten second hand counter. I need to reset my one ten second hand counter. I need to normalize it. So for that, I will push A. I'm now pushing it. I'm given pressure pushing a see you can see my one ten second hand counter is moving so I want to make it up to normalize reset position up to 10 straight hand straight line position so I made it up to 10 now I will press press I will take out my crown up to 3 third 
okay i make it up to third when you rotate it you can change your hour and minute dial so in between i will change my minute count hand this is my minute count hand here already reset reset so i want to normalize it back i want to reset it back okay so for that one i need to press a pusher see what will happen now 30 minutes hand is what will happen it's moving it's gone more far so i will reset bigger i will reset big up to 30 okay now already normalized i reset i press my crown back now i need to identify with distance and lap with my time period so for that i will count with you the corner okay i will first i will press my push a okay i am pressing push a see what will happen what's happening 60 second counter is moving so i'm pressing back so what was happen now when you pressing it back your one ten second hand is moving up to five six seven seven five six seven eight that mean eight by ten mean how much four by five second so let me press it back you can see the movement of 60 second counter it's normalizing back up to 10 now i'm at 15 seconds i'm stopping okay see it's gone up to 7 7 by 10 in that way you can calculate your lap speed it's easy so now I will normalize it back. Push pressure B. Okay. So pressure B, it's normalized. All normalizing reset positions. So now I will calculate the split time. Split time means lost time period during the movement. So for that one, I will press A back. See, now your 60 second count is moving and I will at 10 seconds I will press B so now it is in 5 6 point 6 over 10 position in your second hand so I will press back B see what will happen observe it carefully it is so ah. The timing suddenly lost, suddenly move called split time. That means lost time. Let me stop it back. I will show you back it to you. Okay, I stop it. And in between, please check this 60 second counter and this 30 minute counter. When your 60 second counter make full circle, your 30 minutes counter is moving up to one second then one minute it will make one minute counter that means up to 31 it will move see what will happen i'm i'm pressing b back see already it's split time and your one minute counter your one minute counter is make one sec one uh, one movement i will show you another time look it look at it carefully okay half a second half a minute i've stopped it and in between the counter is moving 10 second count is moving up to eight and i'm pressing it back b see what will happen to 30 minutes counter and and 60 second counter observe it both at the same time observe see it's moved up to three two now okay in that way you can calculate your speed with time seconds and it's it's uh, it's uh, 
it's very easy when you are familiar to this this movement and uh, if you have any further questions please uh, write me and text me and please if you enjoy my video please notify my uh, video and please uh, thumbs up my videos and have a nice day bye bye